Hi guys! So we're still in lockdown and I don't know about you but it's been quite um, a roller coaster ride over the past few weeks and um, found myself having really good days but also having really difficult and challenging days and I think also with and the rollout um, of us going out of lockdown um, you can just pick up there's a lot of different voices out there you know and different opinions and the way people look at it and um, just different like there's a lot of emotion as well a lot of disagreement and in, in the midst of it I was really encouraged by a story in the Bible um, and it's about a guy called Caleb and I want to share a little bit more about his journey and his life and in Numbers 14 verse 24 God says this about Caleb but because my servant Caleb has a different spirit and follows me wholeheartedly I will bring him into the land he went to and his descendants will inherit it what a beautiful thing you know, for God to say this about someone and, um, and God didn't say you know he had a different personality or he was this great leader or this great warrior no God said he had a different spirit in him um, he was different than the rest he had a different perspective and because of this different spirit um, he actually received what God has promised him so um, let's backtrack a little bit and look at what happened for God to say this about Caleb so the Israelites just got out of Egypt um, they were delivered from bondage and slavery and they were heading towards the promised land um, a land of abundance a land of freedom and um, you know and, and that was always God's mission God's mission his plans for the Israelites was always to lead them out of Egypt out of slavery into a life of abundance and that was never going to change so on the way to the promised land Caleb was chosen with 11 other guys to go to the, to the promised land and to go and check it out to, to be spies there and when they came back there were two very different reports um, for the one group of, of guys um, they saw the land they saw it was good but they also saw the people and how strong and big they are it's like giants and the cities that were strong and big and and they said there's no way we can attack them and beat them there's absolutely no way you know and they and they came back and and they were gripped by fear and they actually said oh let's go back to Egypt and this dream of the promised land um, actually died within them you know and um, and they and they they were like there's no way it's for us um, then you had Caleb who had a different experience same land same giant same things he saw but something was stirred in him like he there was something that awakened in him awakening of God's promises and um, and new expectancy and new excitement of what's lying ahead you know and um, and he came back and he said this then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said we should go up and take possession of the land for we certainly can do it like he had to silence all the voices around him all the fear all the disagreements all the emotion all the doubts he had to silence it and he said you know what God's plan never changed for us and um, and that and that will continue it will come to pass so let's go we can take it because that is our trust is in God you know what and I like like and I was thinking in this time of COVID and lockdown I was thinking what is our report so what what's the words coming out of our mouths um, is it a report where we the focus is on the giants on the impossibility of the situation that we're out of control and we don't know the fears and the doubts of not knowing what's going to happen or do we have a report um, you know of a different spirit do we have a different spirit do we silence all the people and all the voices around us and we 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 search for God's voice you know what is God saying in this what is his promises what is his dreams for my life and allow him to awaken that awaken the dreams in us and maybe he even wants to birth new dreams in you um, you know what and and what is such a great time because there's less busyness less distractions you know to really trust God for his voice for his awakening in us and to, for him to put a new spirit in us that makes us different you know than the rest of the world and that we declare hope and we declare promises and um, you know and and that we walk this out with God because we know um, who we are following so that's my prayer for you and for me is that we will have a different spirit and that when we look at the situation we won't just see the giants but we'll see the promise and um, and that that will stir a faith in us that will enable us eventually to receive the promises that God has spoken over our lives have a great day bye